Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you the easiest pass and how to easily, basically, complete variant six. So, the new variant. Okay, let's just start by saying is so easy. Like it is beyond easy. It's not even funny. Like this is probably the easiest variant by far. So if you don't know the previous ones, it'll be fun. So basically, the way this quest works is you want to bring in villains, and this is probably the team you want to go with. If you got him, Doom, Omega, Ghost, Magneto, and then a fifth you can bring for synergies or anything. So if you have these characters, these are the best villains. Just bring them in. Even like four stars of these characters should probably be quick work for this. So we're just going to go over each quest, the easiest path. So this first quest here, there are two paths you could take. This path has easier nodes, but this path has easier characters on them. This path, if you have Poison Mune, it's like Ghost, it should be really easy. And the paths are a little bit easier, but this um, path, this has the easiest fights on it. I mean, easiest node. So, like, if you um, are not, if you're not worried, if you have good counters and you like are not trash at the game, this might be the easiest path for you. But the thing is, there's a warlock, um, man thing, and apocalypse. So if those scare you, just take a poison even character in this, this fight, um, and it's just the whole lane's just poison. But if you if you're not scared about these characters and just take this path, the nodes are easier. This third path I'd very much advise not taking. It has 90% physical resistance and 90% energy resistance, so you basically do like no damage. So just avoid that. The boss is super easy. It's literally just our big rhino with long distance relationship, armor, and explosive personality. So like you can bring in every any character in the game for that boss. Really not hard. Um, if you've been this game for only 10 minutes, that boss should not be a threat to you. And I mean, if you're doing variant difficulty, you just shouldn't be worried. So we're going to the second quest here. The boss is Winter Soldier. Um, see, there's four paths you can take. This path has Madness and Power Snack. So every, uh, if you don't know, um, Power Snack is every seven seconds. Um, your the um, buff is nullified and gives them a bar of power or 50% of bar power. So I'd avoid that one. This one just has 90% armor. So just you basically do no damage. This one has Energize one. Um, and this one has energized 50%. So this one has energized 100% and this one's just energized 50%. This top path is the easiest by far. It just has characters with a tiny bit more power gain. Uh, Madness and Genius, like I didn't even read them. They're basically like nothing nodes. Like I think they like give you some bonuses, but they're like really not like anything to worry about. Um, so this top path is definitely the easiest. It has super easy characters with literally just a tiny bit of power gain. Um, and then this final boss, he basically has unblockable finale um, and dash vulnerability. The only node you really got to worry about in this one, honestly, is just um, this one, unblockable unblockable finale. After, after um, what is it, 25% uh, health or lower, he's fully unblockable, so just don't get him to like a special two. But he has dash vulnerability, so if you dash at him, um, you do 200% more damage. So honestly, like even four stars could straight up clap this path like i can't imagine anyone struggling with this fight once again it's just the path is just a tiny bit of power gain and the boss is just super easy just make sure not to um watch out for the unblockable finale um third quest um the electro boss this quest could be difficult there's um four paths you got this one which is um beast regeneration and this one up here which is uh, monster beast aggression regeneration um, this one over here which is monster and thorns so I'd avoid that path just because it has thorns and then this one is beast and regeneration I think it's the same one as this beast and regeneration yeah so um, you can take either of these two paths I see these two close ones are the easiest ones um, basically the way uh, actually no I would take the easiest path is definitely the one I took because this has thorns on it in the beginning Universal Hood. Basically, the nodes are Monster and Beast in Aggression Regeneration. Basically, the way it works is when you trigger an Unstoppable, buff or passive, or Unstoppable or Unblockable, um, villain, if you're using a villain, which you should be, cause the defender to passively reduce their regen rate by 200% for 5 seconds. So it reverses their healing for 200%. Um, and then also, when triggering an Unstoppable or Unblockable, um, buff or passive, you gain yourself a 10% regen um, over 5 seconds. It doesn't stack. So for this path, just use Magneto. You just keep spamming heavies, and you keep just regenerating, and you keep just um, reversing the regen. 
and it's just so easy. And then you get to here, it's even easier. They regenerate 1% permanently, so you just keep spamming heavies with um, Magneto, and they just start killing themselves with the reverse from the Beast node. It's such an easy clap, like, it's not even funny. You got this Vision Arcus, which could be the only problem fight. Um, you could really use anyone, you just gotta slow play it. You Void, I mean, Doom, um, Magneto, but this was probably the hardest fight, so I'd probably bring Doom for this. I used Doom and just out damaged the node. But make sure you bring someone for this, because this could be the problem fight. Um, but, you know, you could use it with Void and just slow play it to reverse his healing. But, yeah, I mean, you'll know what your best choice is for your roster. Same thing with Star Lord, he has the same easy nodes. And then you get to this Electro who has Monster, Beast, and Arc Overload, and all specials are unblockable. The basically, the biggest threat about this guy is the fact that he's an Electro. But, like, if you slow play it with, like, Magneto once again, you can just keep getting the regeneration from Monster. And then you also can keep just reversing his healing from Beast. So, this path, definitely bring Magneto. Even a 3-star forced Magneto would crush this. So, I would say just watch out for this, um, whatever her name is, Tigra, and just bait out special ones only, because Tigra's annoying. But definitely take this path, definitely bring Magneto for this quest. Magneto bullies that quest so hard. So that's done with, um, quest 3, and now we're going to quest 4, if it wants to load, okay. Quest 4, um, this is a Drax boss. This Drax boss, I don't even remember what his nodes were, but I just remember he is easy like there's nothing to worry about with this drag box so um how many paths are there there's three paths okay so this bottom path is what's yours is mine uh when the when the defender has a weakness debuff applied to them a fear buff within six with 60 percent of the weakness potency is given to the attacker five seconds while the attacker does not have a fear buff in this effect yeah you deal 75 percent less damage so um and you also do more damage if they have a weakness so basically, you need the Resignate Mastery or someone who puts weakness. I would avoid this path altogether because there's some hard fights like um, Mojo, Juggernaut, Nick Fury. So I'd avoid that path. The second path has Overload, Fury, 45% armor. It's basically just every time you nullify a buff from them, you get more crit rating. So that's just super helpful. Um, and then they just have some more armor. Um, so it's just you can take that path if you want. And I just put, took this path. This path is the exact same as this path, just minus the 45% armor reduction. Um, overall, this path might still be easier, even with the armor, because there's a Mysterio and Black Widow Deadly Origin. But once again, just choose for yourself. This path is probably easier overall, with like a Symbiote Supreme or something, or with like Doom. Um, then you go to this boss, and he literally just has... Um, the, the, the weakness debuff thing, which is kind of useless. Um, if you nullify a buff, you get more crit rating, which is helpful. They gain a tiny bit more attack for each buff on them, but not really a big deal. Aggressive, not a big deal. Um, they have indefinite prowess, which is just not a big deal, and optimist, which is not a big deal. So this Drax is literally just cheese. You could use literally anyone, and that fight would be easy. So that's probably one of the easiest quests um, and easiest bosses. Now we go on to this the fifth quest, fifth, five out of six, and we got um, Netflix Daredevil as the boss. Um, there are three. Oh wait, how many paths? There's three. Wait, no, there's four paths actually, not three. This bottom one has plead and poison vulnerability. So if you got a character who bleeds or poisons, like Magneto for example, I mean th this pass just gets bullied. Um, the only problem fight is going to like this void if you run suicides. And then you go up here, and yeah, this side path is probably super cheesable by any, like, villain who, like, puts bleeds or poison. I don't know any good examples off the top of my head other than, like, Magneto, but this one has Chitness Thorns. I just avoid that path. This path has Rising Sun Biohazard, so you could do this path. But the path I did, which is probably the easiest, except for, like, these first two fights... But the thing is, the first two fights are early on, so if you mess up, you can just redo. You basically, it has Masochism and Power Shield. If you have Ghost, you just ignore Masochism, basically, and you can just one-shot every fight with, like, your special two, or, like, two-shot it. Um, but if you have a good villain who does poison and um, bleed damage, I could, t you, I could see you taking this path. Only really hard fight is, like, Magneto, and, like, maybe Ebony Maw if you don't have, like, a super good character, but even then, he's not that bad. 
Um, is Quake a villain, actually? No, I don't think she is. Whatever. Um, and then this Netflix Daredevil boss um, has biohazard, dash vulnerability, heavy attacks are not interrupted, and aggressive. Basically, uh, just bring a bleed I mean, poison I mean, like Ghost or a Mega Red who could just straight up destroy this fight. Um, you take way more damage um, from if you dash in, so like Ghost just destroys this guy. I just want to see something real quick. I just want to see, like, are there any, like, super good villains that poison and bleed a lot for that bottom path? Let's just see. Um, let's just filter it by villain tags. The villain. Venom. Venom probably destroys that by just putting crap to the bleeds. So Venom, if you have the bottom path, could be a really good cheat code. So, yeah. Um, if you got Venom, that bottom path of bleed vulnerability is probably destruction. And then we got the final quest with, who is the boss? Joe Fix it. Joe Fix it's really easy. So, let's first talk about the path. So this furthest to the right path has aggressive, heavy assault, tyrant, and overload. Basically, the only ones you need to worry about are heavy assault, which is both champions' attacks are increased by 500% on heavy and um, while charging a heavy, the defender is unstoppable. So when they throw a heavy, they're gonna be unstoppable and it's gonna be 500% attack, so try to avoid that. Um, so this path could be really fucking easy. Um, that path is super easy, not really any hard fights on it either, except for like maybe Mortar and Hyperion. But if you have like four star Doom, once again, you can probably cheese that with the heavy attacks. The second path, let's just see. The second path has Monster and Beast and Caltrops. Right there, I'm already just thinking Magneto probably claps this path, um, same way he did in the other quest. Magneto claps Doom, Magneto claps pretty much all these characters. I will say though, if you run suicides, watch out for Caltrops. Um, because if you go backwards and you convert your poison into a neurotoxin, that could fuck you. Um, this third path has Monster Beast Caltrops also? Am I reading that right? Are these the same path? Um... I guess they are. So this, these are just both cheesable by Doom. I mean, not by Doom, by uh, Magneto. So yeah, really, none of these are that hard. This entire right side, like this entire three lanes are super easy. The path I did was it starts off with just Energize, or so just more um, power gain. But then this lane has full Icarus, and Icarus with Ghost is just bullying. Um, same thing here. There's also Icarus here. And then this furthest path, it has Energize. So the hardest path is probably this back left one. Um, pretty much every other path in this quest is pretty much super easy. I would say uh, you just maybe take this back one probably the easiest because you just get a character like Doom who throws heavies in every one of their combo and your heavies do 500% more damage. So Or like a Mega Red or a Magneto. I mean, this right path is probably the easiest now that I think about it um, with heavies because pretty much all these characters on my team can use heavies. Um, and then this, so yeah, this quest is super easy, you shouldn't have trouble. And then Joe Fix It is Madness, so pretty much nothing, Tyrant, nothing, Monster. You just get that regeneration. Um, and then the only node that really matters are these two, which is Strike Back and Heavy Hitter. His heavy attacks are Unstoppable and Strike Back, which is when you throw a special, they gain a bar power. So really, this variant is definitely doable if you have the top four stars like maybe even three stars bro this quit this variant's easy bro like this is a really easy one honestly so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video you can like comment and subscribe um you could definitely do the easiest path and everything with four stars maxed out so yeah just definitely the four characters i'd say bring i'd say the most important characters are magneto you want to bring a four star him if you don't even have the five star he's just so good for some of those nodes Doom's probably really good, Mega Red, Ghost, really good, and then like a fifth for like Void, you know, like a Synergy member for a Mega Red or Ghost, like really anything, This it's so easy, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, peace.